Are you finished yet? Mm -mm. Honey, you can't fix everything by staring at a computer all night. I can't fix anything right now. That's the problem. It's just a rough patch. Everyone in the construction industry is in the same situation. Mm. Look, I'm not joking. I mean, I don't even think we can make payroll anymore. If one more contract doesn't go through, we're on the streets. Oh, you're overreacting, honey. <laughs> I wish. Do you like? It's beautiful, babe. Yeah. Look, um, you're gonna have to stop buying until further notice. Sorry. Fine. I can come into the office tomorrow if you need my help. There's, there's no need. Thank you for offering, but nothing you can do to help. Look, I promise things will get back to normal soon. Hey, Jeannie, stop pulling Tommy's shirt. Now! Ten years? That girl's gonna be in jail. Look my words. <laughs> nah. She's adorable. No, they all are. That's where we differ. I have good news. I got accepted. For what? That master's degree program I told you about. In child development. Oh, right. Yeah, wow. I didn't realize you were that serious about it. Of course. Avery! Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. I know just the person you need to see. Today. I see the pulpit. What is the television studio? Uh, back of the auditorium. Second floor. Mm. Mm. I talk to a lot of construction guys like you. They look at me and... See a little Baptist preacher building an itsy bitsy church. What do you see, Robert? A visionary who's building a five acre, 200,000 square foot sanctuary. You read my blog? I do my homework. Then you know my congregation expects us to do business with people that share our same values. Of course. So, what do you think? I think you got the job. <laughs> we want you to build our new church. Mr. Getz, thank you so much. I promise you will not regret this. I'm counting on it, Robert. All right, thank you. Thank you. So Morgan decided that she was Superwoman, and guess what? She's not. Honestly, just give me an ice pack and I'll be fine. Not quite. You sprained your shoulder pretty badly. So what you need is a really good stretch, okay? I promise Isabel is the best. <sighs> oh, you're just biased. Because I gave you massages all through high school. And I've been bringing you business ever since. Touche. I wish my hubby would give me a massage like this. Mm -hmm. So, how'd it go last night? Did you wear the new lingerie? Yes. And? And nothing. He has too much going on right now. I told you, once men get what they want, they're done with us. <laughs> and we're supposed to live like Catholic nuns for the rest of our uh, lives? That's my plan. So what about you? You have someone special in your life? No special guy. Or girl. Or girl? Mm. Is that a hint of some sort? Maybe. <laughs> I doubt you let that pretty face and beautiful body go to waste. Trust me, she doesn't. She goes to that club downtown, Secret Sins. What is that? Like a nightclub or something? Um, not really. It's a members-only adult club for 
people who aren't afraid to have a little fun. You mean like young, sexy people? I doubt they'll let me through the door. Oh, don't sell yourself short. Oh, gosh, I just remembered. I have to call Robert. He had that very important meeting today. Can you grab my phone for me, please? I want to know how it went. I... Oh, thank you. Is that your husband? Mm-hmm. Oh, you guys make the cutest couple. Thank you. Do you have any children? A daughter. Oh. Abby. She's so lucky to have such beautiful parents. Thank you. Hello, hello. Hi. Hi. Thank you for coming. Oh, I want to be in on that. Hi. Oh, I'll be right back. I, I thought you wouldn't mind if I brought Isabel along. No, of course not. Come in. Hi. Hi. Okay, now <laughs> Honey. I want to introduce you to Isabel. This is the woman that gave me that great massage I told you about the other day. Oh, so nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine, sweetheart. Oh. Hi. Hi. I need a drink. Oh, you know where it is. <laughs> Please, this way. Wine, Isabel? Sure. All right. Thank you. You? Unusual. Bourbon it is. The house is looking great, guys. I wish I lived a copy of House Beautiful, where price is no object. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Anna. You know that we were up to our eyeballs in debt. Yes, it's true, but Robert landed a great contract, so quite frankly, I'm not worried. Yeah, well, don't get too comfortable. I mean, if anything goes wrong with that great contract, the company goes belly up and all of this goes away. Yeah, but you could go back to programming, couldn't you? <laughs> Why don't you ask my wife how many times I've said I'm sick of computers? <laughs> oh, my God, it's true. It's been so many years since he's worked in computers. He's a construction guy now. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'm a big construction guy. I told you about Avery. Mm -hmm. All right, enough of this now. No, I wait, he's doing something. Hold on. Me. No, wait, wait. Get it back. Okay. Abby, honey, it's getting late. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Just kids having fun. Right. And then they grow up and pay bills. Oh, come on. You guys are in the prime of your lives. There's way more fun to be had. Really? Like, what kind of fun? Come on, tell us all about this club, Secret Sins. Well, why well, tell you, and I could show you. Come on, come out with me tonight. It'll be a lot of fun. Uh, cl what club? Uh, what are you talking about? Isabel is a member of an adult-only private club. Oh, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah, but you have to count us out. Oh, come on, relax. You only live once. <laughs> you are something else. I didn't say anything. Okay, I'll go. But only as an observer. Deal. <laughs> Driver's licenses, please. Club rules. All members have to be registered.
admit, I didn't think I'd have want to uh, get her home as soon as possible. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Bye. I'll call you tomorrow. Oh, and tell Anna we said goodnight. You know, you haven't kissed me the way you kissed me tonight in a very, very long time. You like that? You know I did. And I don't need to go to an adult-only private club to enjoy the man I love. Pull over. Seriously? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm so glad you can meet me here today. Me too. I I feel awful if I made you uncomfortable last night. It's okay. Okay. We had a great time. Good. So did I. You have to tell me how you got involved with the lifestyle. Um. My ex-boyfriend introduced me to it. And, you know, initially, I wasn't even considering it, but I decided to just let go of my inhibitions and have some fun. Wow. So, does he go there? Do you see him? Do you run into him? He, uh, he died in an unfortunate accident. Uh, wow, um, I'm so sorry. Thanks. Okay, well, um, I'm looking forward to our friendship. Me too. Me too. Toast to that. New friends. Cheers. It's fine with me? Yeah, she said it's fine. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Be good. I will. And I love you. Love you, Mom. Mwah. Abby has a sleepover tonight. Oh. Sleepovers can be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I have to use the little girl's room. Where is it again? Uh, it's the same place that the little boy's room is. It's down the hall to the left. Perfect. I'll be right back. Happy? Yeah, yeah, but the first time in a long time. Business is good. Things seem to be getting back on track. Good.
Good morning, honey. Ooh. Coffee? Yes, please. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know about you guys, but after last night, I am famished. Mm. Okay. I don't know how to say this, so I'm, I'm just gonna say it. I've fallen in love with both of you. It's true, I've fallen in love with both of you. Isabel, you're beautiful, but last night was just... It was, it was, it was an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> A one-time adventure. Look, I know it sounds crazy, but whenever we're together, I I just feel like I'm at home. I mean, imagine us loving each other, living as a family. Oh, it could be so beautiful. Robert and I already have a family, one that we're very happy with. I'm sorry. No, there I go again. Assuming things. Um, I'm sorry, I'll just, I'll go. You don't have to leave. Oh. Robert and I already have a family, one that we're very happy with. I already have a family, one I am very happy with. Hold on, we have to go. I don't want to go. We'll find you another family. No. Let's go. It's time to go. Come on. No, I wanted to. Please, come in. And so I owe you a big thank you. You saved our marriage. I did? Absolutely. Robert and I have reconnected. That's great. I'm really happy for you. So I'm really sorry I hurt your feelings this morning. No, it's, it's okay. Really. Really? Promise. Oh, hey, um, I lost one of my earrings. Is it okay if I go upstairs to see if it's up there? Of course. Okay. Thank you.
Hello? Hi. Hi, this is Diane from Secret Sims. I found your credit card. No, I hardly ever carry that card. Where did you say you found it? Well, it doesn't matter. It's in Lost and Found, and we've got it here for you. If you yeah. Uh, come down. Yeah, I must have dropped it there the other night. That, that's okay. Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, 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 I'll be there as soon as I can to get it. All right. Great. We'll Thank have you. it here for you. sure Robert would prefer me a little thinner. He loves you just the way you are. So do I. What's wrong? Nothing. I really am happy for you guys. I mean, I wish it would have been me, but I am happy that you decided to embrace the open marriage policy. What are you talking about? Oh. Wow, I, I thought you knew. Knew what? I saw Robert at the club last night. There were women all over him. He looked like he was having a really good time. No. No way. Robert's not that kind of guy. I mean, he and I have problems, but he has always been faithful. If you say so. When I was at the club last night, and please forgive me if I've overstepped my bounds, but... I took some pictures. I really thought you should know. I've seen it before. Seen what before? A perfect husband. Straight arrow guy. You know, he gets a taste of the club and just loses control. That's not Robert, OK? Do me a favor. Text me these pictures and then delete them. I'm gonna go take care of this right now. Hope you don't mind. Excuse me. Okay, I'm I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Morgan, hi. Uh, Robert is really busy. Sandy, please. Construction starts next week. Uh, yes, sir. All right. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Getz. All right. And and thank you again for this fantastic opportunity. All right. Bye. Babe, what's wrong? Is Abby okay? Something happened? Abby's just fine. But you decided to have a little fun last night. F fun? What, 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 what kind of fun? What do you mean? Oh, please. I just had lunch with Isabel. She told me everything. Babe, slow down. I have no idea what you're talking about. Why didn't you tell me you went to Secret Sins last night? What? Oh, oh for God's sake. No, the club called. Apparently, when we were there, my credit card dropped out of my wallet. And so I went back to get it. Really? Then what is this? Isabel saw you. She took pictures of you. It looks like you and your lady friends were having a blast. Babe, I went there to get a lost credit card and those girls jumped me, okay? You know the kind of thing that happens at that place. So why do you have to go by yourself? It, it, was, it was on the way from the office. So you could have just canceled the card and gotten a new one. Wait, you're acting crazy. Nothing happened. I'm not acting crazy. You know what? I'm not buying it. Sell it to someone else. Of course. 
course I wasn't spying on you. Well, then why'd you take the photos? I honestly thought that you and Morgan had opened your marriage. I, I thought that she would enjoy the photos. Yeah, well, she didn't. And now, thanks to you, our marriage is in trouble. I swear I would never do anything to hurt either of you. I... I guess I just... I wasn't thinking. Yeah, obviously. <sighs> Things are just really difficult over here right now. I, I don't have a lot of appointments, and, and I'm just... I'm kind of freaking out, so would, would you please just... Please forgive me. <laughs> okay, look, calm, calm down, okay? Like, I'll talk to Morgan tonight. I'm sure everything will be fine. Just no more photos, okay? I swear, I promise, no more photos. All right, well, and things will get better for you. Business moves in cycles, so. You're right, it does. Okay, well, I have to go. Okay, yeah, bye. Miss Anderson, is that leg still bothering you? Come on, let's take care of that, shall we? I want to believe you, I really do. Well, have I ever given you a reason to doubt me? Not yet. Well? Well? You don't seem to have any interest in me unless there's another woman involved. <laughs> That's not fair. I mean, also, you know... It's normal that a couple's sex life slows down a little bit as they get older. It's, it's just normal. Well, I can understand slows down, but completely disappears? I mean, I don't know what else to do. I don't either. So on the one hand, he's probably telling the truth. But on the other, I still don't understand why he went there by himself. Well, honey, instead of replaying it over and over again in your head, why don't you just go to the club by yourself and give him a taste of his own medicine? Oh, I can never do that. Hell yes, you can. I am a one-man woman. I've never strayed in 20 years. Girl, you need a double. <laughs> I mean, seriously, just go. Do it. Give up to friendship. taking you home, sweetie. Don't worry, everything's fine. You could have gone all night. You put on quite a show back there. Uh, what kind of show? Well, first there was one guy, and two. Oh, it was hot. Hot as in sex hot? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You were supposed to have my back. I did. You kept telling me you were fine. That you finally felt free. Stop the car. What's wrong? Honey, you are in no condition to get out of the car. Please. What? Open the door. Okay, okay. okay. Take me home, please. You okay? I don't know how it happened. I'm not here to judge. 
I'm here to help. Any idea how many partners you had that night? Well, the STD results should be back within 24 hours. In the meantime, stay out of trouble. <laughs> oh, God. Now, how's Abby doing? Abby's good. Thank you for asking. I think I forgot my phone in the store. I'll meet you at the car. Okay, all right. Isabel, hi. I was just out shopping with... Anna, I know. I saw. I tried calling you. You mad or something? What do you think? I should have never let you take me to the club that night. I would have never done the things you said I did. You just got caught up in the moment. You were having fun, that's all. How could you even say that? I'm a married woman. It's like I was drugged or something. And it's caused huge problems for me and Robert. I even had to get an STD test. Look, why don't you, Robert, and I just sit down and have a conversation like a family? It'll be fine. No, I don't think that's a good idea. In fact, I don't think you and I should hang out for a while. Hey, Isabel. We just finished shopping if you want to come join us for coffee. Nah, I'm good. You girls have fun. Okay. You can explain an STD test? Well, I was so damn upset that you went to the club the other night that I just wanted to make sure I didn't catch anything from you. What? Well, how do I know what you did after you picked up your credit card? There was two women all over you in that picture that I saw. We've been married how long? And you think that I would do that to you? Really? I don't know. Well, the good news is that I don't have an STD, which means you don't either. You never did. Guys, no. 
target. Finalized plans for the church, so wish me luck. Good luck, honey. But food? Off to school. I love you, honey. Food? Breakfast? Love you. Have a good day. down to the wire, so whatever it is, it can wait. Actually, this can't. Has Mr. Getz called? Not yet. But the potential clients that we lined up because of the church job, they all canceled their appointments. Every one. I told them that someone is trying to hurt you. I know this can't be true. Of course it's not. This is somebody's idea of a sick joke. Who's seen this? Um, everyone. Just tell them to get back to work. Okay. They didn't know, but I'm sure they know by now. I'm sure everybody knows. It's, it's, it's out there. We're gonna be okay. And you know why? Because we have each other. Okay? Okay. It's a sad day for all of us. Look, Mr. Getz, I can assure you. There's been some sort of terrible mistake. I'll say. Look, my wife and I, all we did is, is we went dancing there. Somebody clearly edited that video to make her look that way. We had such high hopes when we came to you. We were sure you were the right man for the job. I am. And we can't be in business with people that don't share our values. <laughs> Mr. Guest, come on. We, we, we've been working on the blueprints for weeks now. We are ready to make you the most beautiful church. 
And you expect my congregation to flock to a house of God that's been built by a man whose wife has sex with other men on camera. I had so many other plans for us. What a disappointment. Look, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm no expert on the Bible, but I know that it talks about forgiveness. Do not quote scripture to me, son. I can't go back to school. They'll just laugh at me till graduation day. Oh, look, it's Abby. You know what her mom is. No doubt she'll follow in her footsteps. Abby, honey, it's not what it seems. Really? Because from the videos everyone's seen, it's pretty clear it's exactly what it seems. Abby, I don't remember any of it. I swear, it's like I was drugged or something. I don't know, but your mom would never do something like that. But you did. People make mistakes. Joey broke up with me today because of your mistakes. <laughs> Sorry. What do I have now? A mom who's a perv? What would you have said if I had done it? I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Why do you care? Don't talk to me like that. I'll be at Stacy's. She said I could stay there till this all blows over. <laughs> Who knows how long that'll take? You do have rights when a club claims to be private, but you have to prove who's responsible for leaking the names. You're kidding. I have to prove it? What am I, Sherlock Holmes? Well, kind of. Unless evidence falls from the sky, you have basically no legal recourse whatsoever. Well, then I guess it's going to be a piece of cake you helping me with what I need now. I want a trial separation. Oh, no. That's a bad idea. Once you get to that point, it almost always leads to divorce. And as your lawyer and as your best friend, I don't think you want that. I can't be in the same house with her, Ben. Not while this is going on. I need to get out. All right. If you really decide to go through with it, I have a small place you can rent in town. It's been vacant a few months. I was actually just about to place in that. Well, don't. I'll take it. Okay. Thanks, Ben. So, uh, as you can see, I have no other choice. Please. Someone is trying to ruin me. My life, my career, everything. I feel for you. I do. But my first priority is the children. As is mine. I love those kids. Please, I would never do anything to hurt them. I am sorry, Morgan. Please, just let me continue. I can't. I can't. It's against policy. You need to leave. At least for now. I need your ID. I'm 
I am sorry. We have to sell the cars, we have to get rid of the country club memberships, and we have to sell the vacation home. Everything? Yeah, that's what happens when you declare bankruptcy. Everything goes. And I'd keep my distance from your little play pal there. I'm pretty sure that Isabel had something to do with this. No. Her name was on the list, too. She's going to lose your business. She's suffering just like we are. I doubt it. I'm sleeping downstairs tonight. Babe, don't do that. Babe, please. Message. Hey, Abby, it's Dad. Would you please call me back when you get this? Thank you. Dad called. He gave me the key to his new place. Mom, I'm sorry. Honey, I'm sorry. None of this is your fault. I need your help staging the house, OK? OK. We have no idea who did it. Yeah, well, somebody from this club uploaded that list. A disgruntled employee, a drunk customer, somebody's ex. Look, buddy. I've lost 30% of my clientele already. They're asking me for refunds. I've got a truckload of lawsuits coming Can in. Can you blame them? The list was supposed to be confidential. <laughs> Are you listening to anything I'm saying? I'm losing my shirt here. If I knew who it was, I'd be singing like Aretha Franklin. I mean, you have to have some sort of idea. Look, you look like a smart guy. You think you can fix this mess? I just might be able to. Hey. Hi. I just wanted to check on you. I left you a couple of messages and I haven't heard back, so please come in. Thanks. I didn't have my phone on me all day because we had an open house today. Looks like we sold the house. Wow. Hey. Hey. So I'm about to make dinner. You want to join us? Um, I'd, I'd love to. Thank you. OK, why don't you guys hang out and I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Okay. She's going through such a hard time. Thanks so much for being there for her. Of course. Trust me, it's my pleasure. He was such a sweet guy. Your boyfriend? Ex, because, you know, the video. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. You'll find someone new, I promise. I don't know. I'm not like you, you know, beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, Abby. But I didn't always look like that. 
purpose. People used to call me fat and ugly and got so bad that I am um, thought about killing myself. Oh my gosh. But then I met someone and things turned around. So I promise you, you'll meet someone new. I mean, you're beautiful. Yes, you are. You just don't realize it. <laughs> Look, it just so happens that I have my fantastic bag of tricks. How about I show you? <laughs> Come on. Let me finish. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I've never been to a club before. My mom won't let me go. You're kidding me, right? No. <laughs> I'm one of those nerds, you know, straight A's, don't smoke, don't drink, still a virgin. My mom's really big on abstinence. It was. Look, those are all really great things. But sometimes the girls just gotta dance, right? <laughs> Do you think anyone would want to dance with me? Absolutely. Mom? What do you think? Isabel did it. Isn't she pretty? Is this some kind of a joke, Isabel? No, we just thought that, no, you know. We thought that the three of us could go out after dinner and, and it would be like a new life sort of thing. Why don't you like it? You're too young to be dressed like this, Abby. You have no idea what's going on. Okay, I was just trying to get her to express herself. Oh, so now you're criticizing the way I raised my daughter? Mom. Okay, you know what, it's all right. We'll do it another night, okay? I should probably go. Yeah, you should. And there isn't gonna be another night. Gosh, Mom, you never let me do anything! Go upstairs, wash your face, put your pajamas on. And what if I don't? Abby! Not tonight! She doesn't have to treat me like I'm five years old. I mean, your mom loves you. Really? She's got a pretty messed up way of showing it. Did your mom treat you like this? I don't know my mom. Never met my dad. I was a foster kid. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. You have no idea how lucky you are that you have parents who love you. You're right. I know you're right. I don't love her. I do not want her. Okay, my turn. Can I tell you a secret? Of course. I would trade places with you in a heartbeat. Okay, enough about that. Let's go party. Woo!
club secret sins. Thank you. You aren't a cop and you don't have a search warrant. You don't even know who you're looking for. So you found an address on the web, so what? The dark web. And I traced the upload back to here. This is definitely the place where someone they uploaded the videos and the list. The membership list to the adult club? Yeah. Who cares? Can you help me or not? Why should I? What's in it for me? Nothing. Just helping this and guy get his life back. Come with me. I'm sorry. I should have listened. No. I'm sorry. I let you down. You grow up, you have children, and you're supposed to set an example. And then one day you just blow it all by making a complete fool out of yourself. You're not a fool. But I was. And I still can't explain how that happened. It's so not me. It'll never happen again. Ever. But you promised me that you will not go clubbing with Isabel again. Don't worry. Besides, something's strange about Isabel. What do you mean, strange? Well, she tried to kiss me? She what? Mom, let it go. It was what she said that really bothered me. Tell me. <sighs> she said that... People used to call her fat and ugly. What? She thought that no one was ever gonna love her. She wanted to kill herself. That's impossible. And then on the way to the club? I would trade places with you in a heartbeat. Doesn't that like freak you out? She's this hot single babe and I'm this 17-year-old nerd. Why would she want to trade places with me? Robert, I can't talk. I'm... I'm... I know it was you that uploaded the membership list and videos. Why? For money? And what the hell's wrong with you? Can we just get together and talk about this calmly? You can talk to me or you'll talk to my lawyer. Robert, look, you, Morgan, and I, we shared something special. What's your point? Just meet me in person, okay? Let me explain. Well, meet me in my place 30 minutes, 5th and Riviera. We'll finish cleaning in the morning. I'm gonna go see Daddy. Are you sure you don't want me to go with you? I'm sure. You guys have got to get back together. I had a client with very deep pockets. I don't now. What's your explanation? That deal would have saved my company, would have saved my family, and saved my home. And because of you, I lost everything. I lost it all. You? I lost everything. I love you. Both of you, you and Morgan, we could have had the perfect life. Just the three of us. Mm. And Morgan is the only 
woman from me. You? You were something that we used one time for a little bit of fun. You mean nothing to us. No. No, you love me. You do, you love me. Morgan said that I was easy to love. She said I was perfect. You're perfect. Robert, it's me. Come on. I want to talk to you. Robert? Angelo, I'm Detective Erickson. This is my partner, Detective Barbara. We'd uh, like a word with you. Sure. I'll be right back, okay? This is good. Morgan, why would your husband call this woman, this friend of yours? What's her name? Isabel. Isabel. Why would he? He called Isabel tonight. I don't know why he would call her. We've been separated for a while. Wow. Mm. What were you doing before you went to your husband's house? It's none of your business what I was doing. Ma'am, I'm afraid it is our business. Why was it that you and your husband separated? Was it because of Isabel? Let me tell you something. My husband and I were high school sweethearts, and I love him. I would never hurt him. So if you think I put him here in the hospital, you're both sadly mistaken. I'm calling my lawyer. Good day. As I said, gentlemen, Robert was pursuing me because, well, I satisfy him. Apparently something his wife can't do. He fell in love with me. Most men do. And his wife, she was incredibly angry that he was still seeing me. I don't blame her. I mean, it wasn't his first time. You see, Robert is a sex addict. He just can't control himself. I guess Morgan just decided to stop it. Once and for all. Thank you. Sorry to have bothered you. We're concerned Mr. D'Angelo's wife, Morgan, might have had something to do with it. It's impossible. I mean, sure, they argued like every married couple, but she's not a violent person. Not in the least. So, you did see them arguing? Well, once. 
Do you know exactly what they were arguing about? I can't be 100% sure, but I think that she thought he was having an affair. Thanks. We appreciate your time. Hey, Sandy, I really don't have time to talk right now. Look, I am so sorry to bother you. I just got done talking to the police. I think that they're going to arrest you. What? Mrs. D'Angelo, Metro PD. Open the door, please. <laughs> there one for your arrest. Let's not make this more difficult than it has to be, ma'am. You take the back. Yeah, good idea. Metro Police. Ma'am, are you in here? Nobody's here. Looks that way. All right. I'll call it in. Police are on the lookout tonight for a Miami woman who was prominently featured in a video already viewed millions of times on social media. According to Metro detective, Miss D'Angelo attacked her husband with a golf club after finding out he was having an affair. Right now, he's in the hospital in critical condition, but she's on the loose, and authorities are telling us he could be well armed. I'm Jen Herrera, Channel 57 News. Abby? Maybe. We need to ask you a few questions. My mom said I'm not supposed to speak without a lawyer present. It'll just be a minute. 59 seconds. Let's start that way. Did you understand that your mother is the primary suspect? No. Wrong. My mother would never do something like this. We're not saying your mom is a bad person, but sometimes good people make mistakes. Don't you agree? Now you're giving me a morality lesson? Forget this. Wait, has your mother tried to contact you? No. If she does, you need to contact us immediately. Abby? Abby, your mom is in deep trouble. Now, you may not believe this, but we are trying to help her. Abby, she needs to come forward and make a statement. The longer she's out there avoiding the inevitable, the worse her case looks in the eyes of the court. Right outside your father's room until we catch whoever did this. Oh, 
So he's supposed to, like, stop my mom from murdering my dad. Abby, it's just a precaution. Why are you people ganging up on my mom? You should be out there trying to find out who actually did this. Isabel? Hey, Abby. What are you doing here? Oh, I brought you cookies. I made them myself. How's he doing? How does it look like he's doing? Sorry. Not good. Doctors aren't quite sure yet. You know, when I saw what happened on the news, I just couldn't believe it. I had to come visit him. Really? What were you doing with the IV? Oh, I was just making sure it was working okay. Look, I, I know he needs some rest, so I'm gonna go. Enjoy the cookies, okay? Mom, I had to call you from someone else's phone in case you're tracing mine. Are you okay? Um, hi, Grandma. It's nice to hear your voice. Why are you calling me? Where are you? I'm at the hospital, Grandma, with Dad. There's a nice officer outside our door making sure we're safe. <sighs> Got it. I know. I saw Mom on the TV, too, Grandma. It's a total nightmare. How are you holding up? I'm okay. I need you to do me a favor, please. Can you go to your father's house and check his computer, his calendar, everything? I need to know what he was doing before he was attacked. I don't think that's going to be necessary, Grandma. <sighs> Hello? Come on already. I'll be right out. Why? Isabel stopped by. She brought a plate of cookies. Why would Isabel bring a plate of cookies? And they're delicious. I think you should stop by her house to get the recipe. She'd be so surprised to see you. Got it. Okay, I'll call you later. Love you. Hello? Is everything okay? Chocolate chip? I lost one of my earrings. Is it okay if I go upstairs to see if it's up there? I went there to get a lost credit card, and those girls jumped me, okay? You know the kind of thing that happens at that place. Give him a taste of his own medicine. Okay, just one. It's like I was drugged or something. And I'd keep my distance from your little play pal there. I'm pretty sure that Isabel had something to do with this. It was what she said that really bothered me. I would trade places with you in a heartbeat. You're not messing with my family anymore. Yeah, I need a flight. Tonight. Cancun, Mexico City. Doesn't matter. Oh, I need a hotel room, too. Indefinitely. What do you mean I need a return date? I said indefinitely. I'm gonna have to call you back. Isabel, help me. They're after me.
Because he stopped loving me. No. No, he didn't. So I came by to say goodbye. Goodbye? Where, where are you going? Who cares? The beach, the woods, anywhere where I can kill myself. No. Robert loves you. He told me. He said that you were the only woman for him. He said those words? Yeah. When? When I went over to his house to comfort him. He was so upset. I just... Really? Yeah. Because when I got there, he was already unconscious. Which must have been right after you tried to kill him. Look, I don't know what happened, okay? I just, I freaked out. I didn't mean to hurt him, it just, it just happened. Going somewhere? I'm gonna leave. And you're not going to call the cops, because if you do, I'm gonna tell them that you came over here to kill me too. And they're gonna believe me before they believe you. Really, bitch? I don't think so. I didn't mean to hurt him, it just, it just happened. That's you. I'm gonna share this with the cops and they're gonna send you to a brand new private club for many years. Hmm? Gotcha. <laughs> Angelo, I think you're looking for me. Chiều nay mưa trên phố Huế Kiếp giang hồ không bên đời Mà mưa rơi vẫn rơi rơi hoài Cho lòng nhớ ai Ngày chia tay hôm nào còn đây trên sông hương còn đầy tình đã xa gió mưa u hoài mắt lệ ngắn xa chiều mưa trên kinh đô huế tiếng mưa còn vương kỷ niệm ngày quen nhau dưới chân tiên ở đông ba khi mình qua lá mẹ bay bay là đà chiều thiết tha có anh bên mình mà ngỡ hôm qua Họ Một 
này mưa trên phố Huế Biết ai đã quên ai rồi Hạt mưa rơi vẫn rơi rơi đều cho lòng Ngày xưa mưa rơi thì sao Bây giờ nghe mưa lại buồn Vì tiếng mưa tiếng mưa trong lòng Làm mình cô đơn Hãy subscribe